This video shows how to install the new Bootstrap 5 in our uh, in our Angular, uh, not Angular, in our ASP.NET Core application. So this is Bootstrap 5, the new one, uh, and I want to install it in my ASP framework. So this is my ASP installation uh, by default. And when you look there, you will see here under the where is it? Client app. And in the client app node modules, and then you find here in our folder the bootstrap, 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 bootstrap. And when you go there to dist uh, CS to the min version of bootstrap, then you see that this is by default the version 4, which is installed in ASP frameworks. So what we do now is we jump here to our client app and I would say I go here to my, I would like to do it either here with our package management console. This would be a good stuff. Or we go to our uh, here open folder in uh, open folder in file explorer. Then you have it here. We start here with our visual code which which is default in programming and then we would say either I close it in the background here now I feel a little bit more safe in this uh, in this version in uh, Visual Studio Code now we go to the terminal and in the terminal we do the a default installation which is let's say here npm pm install bootstrap boot strap and then um, either save uh, with, with a save but here also the at next with which is the version 5 at the moment that's what we saw here that's the version 5 so I'm running this now we go to enter Now you see that's the message. This is Bootstrap 5.0.1.0.0 Beta 2. And the big advantage of this one is when you go to uh, get Bootstrap, this is from Bootstrap is itself from Twitter and uh, designed from Twitter. You have here the get started download and you have here, where is it? The uh, version 5 here the, in the components that's uh, pretty nice stuff when you want to size your images I've seen it somewhere there so it's a lot better to take your application completely in this uh, block so you have here in the utilities the pretty nice stuff when sizing it's uh, somewhere what it was sizing of your uh, images and now all these commands of the class should work now something like this all the size uh, should should work and flex for example this is good stuff all these expressions in the class should work now in uh, our application now I jump back to my application go to go kodoku that's one and this runs now uh, when you work with ASP.NET Core um, said both ways are acceptable to work with because in here you have the possibility to set breakpoints uh, this is a little bit better in uh, Visual Studio in full version so what we do now is we set here some uh, some stuff we have here now our client application 
And inside the client application, where is it here? A node, node value, public source. And now we are in the same position. We have here the components. And in my component, I, component, I have here the articles and the articles CSS. And now when I want to do something, I have here my classes like this one, list folder or list image, this one. And I may say something in the this list image. Where is it? Here's my article, articles, my uh, site. And now I may set here some uh, in my class. I may expand it by those values which are here my uh, in Bootstrap.